Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Chasing 70 Degrees. My name is Travis and I'm currently on the road right now. I'm 2,700 miles from home, which is Maryland. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over how I'm keeping up with my laundry. And I use the Giantex, or it's the Giant X. Uh, it's pronounced in one of those two ways. It's a 17.6 pound capacity washer spin unit. And this thing is an absolute beast. It only weighs 28 pounds. And so as you saw in the previous video that I did about the bathroom in the Jayco Jfeather 25RB, I simply keep it in the shower. And it is really, really convenient because I can fill it right from the shower head. I can then drain it after the load of laundry is done. And also for the spin cycle that produces quite a bit of water that it's gonna drain out of the unit and it drains right into the shower, right into the gray tank. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm ready to do a load of laundry since I'm getting ready to break camp here at the Ute Mountain Casino and head to Moab. So let's take a look at this unit. It's super simple. It's really, really easy to use. And so that was one of the things that I really liked about it uh, when I looked at some different online reviews and people that were talking about it. So let's dive in. I'm gonna give you the ins and outs of the unit. It's not that complicated. And I'm gonna give you the settings that I use in terms of how much laundry detergent I put in there and how much water I fill up in there. And I'm gonna actually do a load of laundry and I'm gonna tell you exactly the items of clothing I'm putting in there so you can get an idea as to how much you can actually put into this washing unit when you're using it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the unit and dive in. All right, so here is the Giantex um, portable washer spin unit, and I've got the uh, the blue and white version again. It only weighs 28 pounds, so it's very easy uh, to lift up over uh, the lip on the floor here for the shower and to store this inside my travel trailer shower. Uh, if I wanna take a shower, which is typically what I do after I do a load of laundry, because as you'll notice, there's gonna be some sediment, um, you know, the dirt and things like that, that are gonna drain out. Now, here's what the unit comes with. You've got the unit itself, and then you've got this sort of uh, plastic uh, piece here that actually gets used inside the spin unit, which is on the right-hand side. Now, the capacity, it says it's 17.6 pounds, uh, and that's actually uh, pretty deep. So uh, one of the nice things is being able to fill this with the shower head. If you were trying to do this with, um, you know, like a gallon jug or something like that, it'd probably take quite some time. And you're going to see just how much clothing we can get in there. I typically keep the power cord up here when I'm not using it. I'll just put it in there and then uh, shut the lid down on it so that it doesn't uh, fall out or something like that. And speaking of that, whoops, and speaking of that, uh, again, I've been on the road now for 2,700 miles, and this thing has never tipped over. So it, it's this is the perfect place to keep this thing, in my opinion, is right here in the, in the shower of the travel trailer. Now, it also comes with this plastic tube here, and this can be used on either side. You can see here it says water inlet. So you would put this in here onto the water inlet, and then you would feed this somewhere where there's a water source. And again, I'm not a huge fan of this. Um, it's just really kind of inconvenient, if you ask me. Again, for my application, that is this is just not going to work. It's not going to fill it quick enough. Uh, and if you look, the tube is not that thick, so it's going to take quite some time uh, to get plenty of water in there. And there's also another water inlet over on this side, right? So you've got two water inlets there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get that tube out of the way. Uh, and then what we have, again, it's so easy to use this. So once you fill it with water, you, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna flip this to either normal or soft, depending on you know, how you want the laundry that's being washed to be treated. I usually just use the normal. And then you're gonna crank this timer around as to how long you want the clothes to be washed in either normal or soft mode. Now, once the timer has completed and the load is done, you then flip it to drain. And drain is where this little component on the side, you can see right here, we've got this little drain right here. And this is what I love about this unit is I simply lay it down right there. Uh, and I'll actually probably move it a little bit, but I lay it down right there so that when it drains, it simply just drains right down uh, into the gray tank that the shower is using right? And then once it's drained, we're going to take what's in here. And this is something to be aware of. The spin 
capacity. And you can see there's also this other sort of plastic, um, plastic cover that goes over the spin unit. This is not 17.6 pounds capacity, right? So this is about half the size. And so again, I'm going to get into the details of what I'm going to be putting inside the washing side. And then you're going to see just how much we can fit in here. Typically what I do is I'll split it in half. Um, I'll take half of what we got washed and I'll spin it. And again, you can see the spin cycle it's for, goes for about five minutes. And all the spin is doing here is it's getting the excess water out. And then once I'm done here, I take what gets spun, I'll pull it out, and I have on the back of the RV on the ladder, I have this thing that's really, really cool. I got it on Etsy, uh, and it's made by an Amish gentleman, and it actually kind of fans out and allows you to hang the clothes. And so I'm gonna show you what that looks like as well. So again, let's go ahead, dive in, and uh, let's get a load of laundry going here for the spin unit right now. I'll just leave this here. And then I typically uh, just take this plastic thing and put it up here in my shower caddy. All right, so how are we gonna be doing this this morning? So here's what I'm gonna be washing. We're gonna be washing a pair of socks. I'm gonna be washing an extra large t uh, double XL t-shirt. I'm gonna be washing a second double XL t-shirt. And you're probably looking in there saying, well, that's not taking up that much space. I've got two pairs of shorts, so I'll drop those in here as well. And the final thing that we're gonna be doing is a double XL hoodie, right? And I've noticed that the hoodies not only take up quite a bit of space, but they soak up quite a bit of water. And so now you can see that, you know, it's not totally full. And again, I, I probably don't ever wanna to try to fill this up too much. Uh, but you can see right there that we've got the two pairs of shorts, the pair of socks, the two double XL shirts, and a double XL hoodie. And so that's what I've got ready to go. I like to keep the loads small. I'd like to do frequent loads and keep them small. Uh, that way it doesn't turn into a catastrophe. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to simply grab the shower head up here, and I'm going to set it in here, and we're going to go ahead and turn on the water. Now, I'm going to turn it off here just for a second so that I can put my hand in here and show you typically where I fill it up to is right, kind of right below, uh, I don't even know what this little thing is right here, but I usually fill it up right below that with this amount of clothing, right? So let's go ahead, we'll get this turned on. And while that's filling up, I'm going to come over here and talk about the laundry detergent I use and specifically how much laundry detergent gets used. So I don't know if you can see this or not because of the lighting, but here on the cap for the liquid, you can see it says one, two, three, and then it gives you kind of like a little level as to where you would fill the laundry detergent to. I always use, for this type of a load, I always use one, right? And so I'll fill up the laundry detergent to here, and then I will go ahead and I will pour it in. Now, I have made the mistake already of thinking, oh, well, I'll just do two and then it'll be twice as fresh. And the problem with that is with this laundry detergent and that size of a load, uh, I had to actually wash it through three times to get rid of all the suds and the soap. Um, so that's why I always stick to one. And again, you're gonna get more uh, use out of the laundry detergent because you're using less of it uh, each time. You know, you are doing more loads, but still, it's gonna, it's gonna save you uh, some laundry detergent. All right, well, let's go ahead, get the laundry detergent added in, and let's kick this thing off and get it going. All right, so a couple things you may have noticed uh, is I had left it on drain, right? So if you have it on drain, it's gonna uh, get rid of all the water that's inside the washing, um, uh, the washing container here. So you wanna make sure you flip it over to normal or soft before you fill it up. And as I commented, if you look here, I've got it filled up right below this little thing right here. Again, for that size of a load. Now, the final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add in, and if I hold it up here, you can hopefully see, see the letter, the numbers one, two, three. So let me see if I can hold this straight here. So I'm right around one. So I'm gonna pour that in here. And again, I kind of try to, you know, like spread it around. That way it doesn't all end up in the same place. And it's really kind of all over that uh, double XL hoodie. So once I add in the one, I'll just set the unit right there, a little cap for the laundry detergent. You're gonna close this. We've already got it set to normal. Now it's just a matter of turning 
uh, the timer on. Now I always wash for 15 minutes because typically, you know, the stuff is kind of dirty. So, and here it goes, right? And so let's, you can actually lift this up here uh, to get a, a really good look as to what it's doing, right? Uh, when you lift up this lid, it does not stop the unit. It doesn't turn off anything. And so here we go, and it is just washing away. And so it's going to do that for about 15 minutes. And we're going to come back in 15 minutes when this is all done and the timer, it doesn't actually ding or anything, right? It just kind of stops. So there's nothing that notifies you that it's done. It just finishes. We're then going to go ahead and flip it over to drain, which is when out of this little tube right here, you're going to see all kinds of water flowing out that's got, uh, you know, sediment, dirt, things like that. Uh, and again, that's kind of why I like to shower after I do laundry, because then I can clean the bottom of the tub out. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take a quick break here, and we'll be back in 15 minutes. All right, so our 15 minutes is up. Uh, if you lift up the lid here, you can see that it does not automatically drain uh, any of the water, right? So we're going to have to flip that switch here from the normal wash mode, or if you were on the uh, soft watch mode, we're going to have to flip that over to drain, at which point you're going to see all of the water from the washer compartment come out of the drain here and conveniently just go right down into the gray tank for the shower. Another quick note, I use a little extension cable uh, because from my shower over to either the GFCI outlet here or down into that little slot, there's an outlet in there as well. Uh, it doesn't reach, right? So I just keep a little extension cord. You probably saw that in the previous video. Another thing to keep in mind is that this is not a 12 volt unit, right? So this is going to require 110 or 120. Uh, so again, uh, you're going to need either a generator or some shore power uh, going to your unit in order to get this bad boy to do what it does. All right, so let's go ahead and let's click this over to drain. And that's really, you just flip it to drain after you wash it. And let's take a look and hopefully you can see sort of the gray uh, tint on that water. And so for me, this is kind of the, you know, the, um, the litmus test here to see, is this thing actually doing what it's supposed to be doing? And I've actually, after mountain biking and getting pretty muddy a couple times, uh, the water that comes out is pretty dark. So it's definitely doing a good job. Um, and it doesn't take it that long to drain. And you can see everything's just going to go right down into the gray tank of the shower. If we come back up here and take a look in here, you can see that the water is almost all out of there already. Now, that is where the spin compartment is going to come into play. Now, I'm going to see if we can't get uh, everything in here. And again, I would say that this is probably about eight pounds. It's about, it looks like half the capacity, maybe even less than half the capacity of the washing compartment. And so the first thing that I usually do is I'll grab the heaviest uh, unit of clothing, which is for me is going to be that double XL hoodie. And let's slide the hoodie over here and then let's grab some of these other things. And you can see that with the hoodie in there, it's already uh, pretty full. And then that's it, right? So I'm already at the top. And what did I have left over? I had a, a double XL shirt and uh, actually I threw in this extra pair of socks here, but they're tiny. Uh, and then one of the hiking socks I had. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out Let's see, well, what did we just take out there? All right, I think we've got a pair of shorts out of here and that double XL long sleeve t-shirt. Uh, Cause again, I don't want to overfill this. Now, this is where you're going to take that little plastic thing and you're going to put it in here and you can kind of push down a little bit. And again, I'm assuming that if you had it pretty full, you could push down even uh, more. You're going to close that lid there. You're going to close that compartment there. And now this thing gets going and it's, it's, it, it, when it starts, you're going to think that it's going to be really, really loud, right? But it actually kind of like hums down and uh, finds a rhythm. And so let's, let's watch this. So initially, and hopefully you can hear me. So there we go. It kind of quiets down once it hits its rhythm and take a look at how much water that thing is spinning out of those clothes, right? So definitely quite a bit of water. I always spin for five minutes. Sometimes I'll spin twice for five minutes, but we'll let this go ahead and go for five minutes and then we'll swap the loads out and we'll be back in just a second.
So I wanted to come back and we're about halfway through here, a little more than halfway through. And as you can see, it started out really, really loud. Uh, but once it hits its groove, uh, the compartment that does the spinning, it's actually, this isn't too loud, right? It's not like overwhelmingly loud or annoying or obnoxious. Uh, but when it starts up, uh, it is definitely making a lot of noise. But then it, like I said, hits its groove. And as you can see, nice and smooth. All right, so again, when this finishes, it doesn't actually, you know, have a bell or anything like that. It just kind of, and you can hear it because it'll slow down and it'll be like, so then it gets all done. You just crack this open. You kick open sort of the little safety lid that goes in here. You remove uh, the plastic thing. Again, I just stick it up here in my shower caddy. I'm going to be using it right away again anyway, because we still have some clothes over here. Uh, but then you just take these out and then you're going to go hang these up to dry somewhere. Now, I've thought about, you know, if it's raining or whatever, getting some sort of a tension thing here. If you guys have a solution for that, I would love to hear about how you might do that or what it is that you're using. Uh, maybe if you're hanging stuff in the shower to dry out as opposed to hanging it outside due to bad weather. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to give you a look at what the unit on the back of my travel trailer looks like uh, that I got on Etsy. And I'm going to put a link in the description below. Again, I've got an affiliate link here for the Giantex or the Giantex uh, washer spinning unit as well. So if this is something you think might fill your need, click that link. And also don't forget to click subscribe and like. Uh, and let's go ahead and get this stuff hung up outside. All right, so here's the unit on the back of the travel trailer. <clears throat> and you can see it just sits right in here on the ladder. Super, super convenient. Again, you're probably going to want to move that if you're trying to get up onto the roof. Uh, but this is it, right? And I've got the link for it down below and let's get some clothes hung up on it, see what it looks like. All right, now here's what I like to do once I'm done with all the washing. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. I'm gonna put you, you're actually inside uh, the washing compartment. You can kind of see uh, that there's some residue, like some dirt and stuff like that. So what I'll always do is I'll grab the, the shower head, kind of drop it in here. I'm doing this one-handed. And then I'll just rinse it out. Now remember, you want to make sure that the setting is on drain uh, because all the water that's coming out or that you're filling in there that you're rinsing with is just being drained out down into your gray tank. Uh, so again, one of the considerations uh, that you need to keep in mind is, you know, how large is your gray tank or how many gray tanks do you have? I have two. Uh, one is 31 and the other is 34. And so then I'll just kind of rinse it out real quickly and let's leave it there. And uh, then that's pretty much it. And so like I said, the reason I like to shower after the fact is you can actually see the residue, the dirt and stuff like that uh, from the laundry. And so then that will <clears throat> get the laundry all cleaned up or get the, uh, the shower all cleaned up. And then all you do is hook the drain tube right back to the side of the unit. Let's hang the shower head up. There we go. And then uh, on the right hand side, the spin unit, sometimes I'll take a couple paper towels and wipe it through there, you know, kind of wipe around uh, the edges where it closes down uh, just to keep it super clean. But I'm going to give you a, uh, a photo here. Let's take a look at what we've got on the back of the travel trailer where everything is drying. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this might be a possible solution for you. For me, for my use case, again, I'm traveling alone. I don't have like a family of five with me or something like that. But um, the Giantech uh, portable washer spin unit has been absolutely phenomenal. All right, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your time and enjoy the chase.